What we noticed was HIV incidence among people who inject drugs in New Delhi was extremely high, like way higher than what I've seen anywhere in the world currently. And so I wanted to try and understand what was driving that transmission in New Delhi. If we want to end the HIV epidemic or achieve hepatitis C elimination, we need to be going after the populations that no one wants to look at, or the invisible population. So when we were doing some work with people who inject drugs across India, what we noticed was one particular venue in New Delhi, venue number 40, accounted for 71% of new infections among people who inject drugs in New Delhi. Go in this someone who moved to New Delhi looking for work. You could be depressed because you're not able to find a job. Those circumstances actually lead you to drug use. They're just looking for an outlet. They just need something to cope with their lives. Deepa goes out to the different hotspots where people who inject drugs in New Delhi hang out, where people who move to Delhi looking for work hang out try to figure out how do we provide them with diagnostic services, how do we provide them with harm reduction services, and, and really building that relationship with them. Govin, now you have test, but you have done your test, but you have to go to the center. Yes, ma'am. You have seen the Chandi Chok Center? Yes, ma'am. That's the green color of the coat. Yes, ma'am. There is something for us that we have injection. So I agree with you to go with you. We have to trust you and we have to get a little bit. We have to get a little bit of a test. We have to get a little bit of a test. We have to get a little bit of a test. We have to get a little bit of a test. We have to get a little bit of a confirmatory. Then we have to get a little bit of a test. Or we have to get a little bit of a test. Let's go, brother. Let's start our medicine. Let's get a little bit of a test. It was a godsend to have the Abbott's Pandemic Defense Coalition come in and be like, this is a huge problem. People who inject drugs, when, once they're done injecting drugs, are out in the community. Infections that they may have could get transmitted back into the more general population. Anyone who screens positive, all the samples are packed, they ship to Chennai, and then we do all the molecular testing, all the results are sent back here. When the samples show up here, then we do further additional testing that's not available in the form of rapid tests. So for example, we do real-time PCR, which is basically a test to see how much virus there is. So this machine can test for HIV, viral hepatitis, COVID, and all at the same time, right? So it really has been a journey where we evolve with the needs of the community, trying to bring in the most novel therapeutic and diagnostic strategies and trying to figure out how do you integrate it in a way that you not only take care of the individual's disease, but take care of the individual as a whole. So then by having this intervention that we're now embarking on, hopefully we'll be able to do something about that and, and reverse that tide. And then if we, we can show that there, that is the springboard to doing that over and over again in other places. That's identify how infections are being transmitted.
बस एक ताकत की दवाई की तरह डेली एक गोली खानी है जिससे कि तुम्हारी ताकत बहे ताकत की गोली डेली खाते हैं ना बस उसी तरीके से इसको खानी है एक भी दिन अगर छोड़ा तो सोचो ताकत कम हो जाएगी कम हो जाएगी तो नहीं छोड़ना है अगर कोई भी दिक्कत परेशानी है दवाई खो गई है How do we prevent more go-ins from actually happening? I think that is one of the things we could work within the coalition to figure out: is what kind of monitoring and what kind of tests do we need to ensure that every go-in, everywhere in the world, has access to healthcare? We discovered a problem. We discovered that there was like a high burden of infection. So now I'm committed to figuring out what is the solution to actually end this. तो मैं यही चाहती हूँ कि अच्छी अच्छी जिंदगी जिए, कुछ इसका ऐसा इनकम सोर्स बन जाए कि इसको ऐसा भटकना ना पड़े और इससे जो है आने वाली जो जनरेशन नशे में पड़ रही है वो इसको देख के इंपायर हो और वो इस नशे से दूर हो क्योंकि सर मेरे को ये हो रहा है ऐसे ही महीना भर करीब लग गया था तो मेरे पास कोई बैठ के भी लगाता है मैं उसको भी चाटा मार के बना देता हूँ एच आई का भी तुम्हारा मेडिसिन स्टार्ट हो गया है अब मेरे को बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है कि मतलब मेरे अंदर का मेरे अंदर का जो ईश्वर है वो मेरे से यही कह रहा है कि गोविंद बहुत अच्छा करा तूने बेटा तो ये छोड़ दिया अब देख तू पहली जैसी लाइफ अपनी जी जी सकता है तो तू अपने बारे में यही सोच रहा था ना और निकाल मेरे को और मेरी पहली ऐसी लाइफ बना दे मैं तेरे से कुछ नहीं लेना चाहता और वही चीज़ आज ऊपर वाले ने कर दिखाई तो जिससे कि मुझे अच्छा लगता है